everyone. First off, I just want to start by saying thank you to Neutrogena for sponsoring this video and for giving me the most unbelievable experience and departure from my average everyday life. When Neutrogena contacted me recently and asked if I'd be interested in going out to LA to interview Nicole Kidman right before the Emmys, of course I said yes. Who wouldn't say yes? Um, you may remember that back in January I did a video with Neutrogena talking about this little gem right here. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream and um, I will link the video if you haven't seen it. There'll be an eye up there and I'll put a link in the description box. But um, if you missed it or just to recap, this little guy is quite a gem. Um, I have dry skin, I have sensitive skin, and one of the things that I really like is when I use a product from Neutrogena, I've used them for years, I know that my skin does not react, I don't break out, it doesn't irritate my skin. And in this case, I wasn't using a product in my skincare routine that had retinol, and um, this does. I use a pearl size amount on my face in the morning and in the evening after any like cleansing and serums and this is it, it's good to go and it's moisturizing. The whole point of going out there to talk to Nicole Kidman was to get her perspective on wrinkling, in this case, unwrinkling your life, like ways to simplify your life. How does she simplify her life? So I wanted to ask her that. And then of course I threw in some just fun questions that I personally was curious about and hopefully you will be interested in hearing her answers. So keep watching and you will see that interview with Nicole. The sound is a little echoey, um, but I think you'll enjoy it. And then keep watching after that so you can hear some tips from me about how I've tried to unwrinkle my life. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Thank you so much for doing this. It's really an honor to be sitting here with you. I've been a fan for a really long time, and I'm so thrilled for your nomination. Um, I'm so honored. I can't believe it. I can't believe the show. I mean, I can. I can believe it now, but I'm just, when we were first talking about making it, um, I don't think we thought it would, it would go this far and connect this deeply. But I'm, so I'm thrilled. It's, it's had a lot of buzz on my YouTube channel. Which has it? A lot, yes. Oh, that's it awesome. Is. But I always went up to you as a role model because we have similar coloring. Oh, yes. And we do. I was thinking that. I don't have to fake tan coming to see you. You'll appreciate <laughs> this. Yes. And yeah. we're a similar age and we're both moms. And mm -hmm. so I would really love to hear, speaking of aging, how you look at aging when you're perspective is on it. I mean for me um, there's been the whole um, new look at um, in terms of not talking about aging, the anti anti aging. Right. Um, but I actually think that's a good thing to start talking about because we as women can move the needle on that, you know. We are able to say, no, you're not gonna just sort of say it's over once we turn forty five or you're not gonna say it's over and that's it. Um, we, we have children later. Yeah. We do all sorts of things later, and that whole, you know, 40 is the new 30, 50 is the new 40, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> but those things I think are important because with men, a lot of times that's just a given that you're, they're not defined by their age, and so much of society is defined by their age. And so a lot of it is us saying, no, we're going to change it for ourselves by combining our powers. I never thought about it like that. I yeah. like how you put it, how you phrase that, because you're right, men don't ever talk about it. It's just a given. You are your age. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's not such a big deal for them. Yeah. Um, but you know, as a fair skinned woman, I've had to um, I've had to really take care of myself and have to continue to do so. So when Eugenie came to me and said, Listen, we would love you to be involved in terms of our um, products and the rapid wrinkle repair is amazing um, and strangely enough I was already using it because I'd read about it in a magazine and so um, for me it's been fantastic and I, I, I mean as, as I also say you've got all this on screen too. so for, there's their sunscreens are the best sunscreens my kids think so I think so and my husband who's actually very very dark um, yeah really <laughs> Gosh, my sister. Um, uh, you know, but we can use it across the, the whole family. We have different different desires and needs from it, but we all use it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. and the sheer zinc for me is what I love. Uh, but, um, I just love that I know I can use it and nothing's yeah. going to make me react. Yeah. That's always a problem for me. Because also um, pretty low maintenance because you, you've, got, you've got kids. I have two boys, 16 and 19. Right. Yeah. So... 
low maintenance. I, I just don't want to have to be spent. I don't have two hours to spend, you know, getting ready in the morning. Well, speaking so, of low maintenance, so we're all about unwrinkling, not just our face. Yeah. <laughs> but unwrinkling our life. And yeah. I would love to know, I have a few questions, actually seven questions, and the first oh. one, I hope you're up for it. Yeah. Uh, the first one is, you know, what are some of your tips for unwrinkling your life and making things a little more simple? Things like an easy skincare program that you know works for you, but. Yeah, I mean, well, the cleansing tablets, I have to say, are a godsend because I take my makeup really quickly. I need a wipe that I can just go done. So, and that's what Neutrogena has those. And I've, I think I've actually, I posted a picture of me once on the plane taking my makeup off, which is what I do a lot. Um, but anything that's quick and simple for me is how I unwrinkle everything. And um, because I also want to spend time with my family. I don't want to be running around doing all the other things. I actually, because time is the most yeah. precious thing we have, and I want the time. You know, and that's part of, as I get older, I realize how important that is. And I'm willing to move mountains to make that happen. So by simplifying everything, and I want to be able to shove everything in a bag, quickly, easily, put on my night cream, not, and not have to worry. I want my kids when I'm on the beach, I want to be able to put the sunscreen on them and know they're not going to have you know, a sunburn that night. Yeah and myself included, and it's that simple. Well, now we're gonna go about 180 degrees. So that was a great, I loved your answer, but now we're gonna get a little frivolous and silly. Yeah. So, what would we be surprised to find in your purse? I love, there's a big thing on YouTube called What's in My Bag, and it's, <laughs> what's some of your, I mean, you don't have to get yeah, yeah. but what's, a, what's something you have in your purse that you, you know, it's always, no matter what bag you're carrying, everyday stuff. That I always put in there. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> well, I always have my phone. That's just the worst thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> Not I'm like, I am one of those are. people where I panic if I don't have my phone in my bag. Um, I have been known to go out without my bag and just my phone. Um, and I will, I mean, I love to have some sort of, my daughter will put like in my bag like notes and I'll sew with my husband at different times. So whatever the latest one that was left for me, sometimes they'll leave it on my pillow but I'll always have that in my bag because if I can read something from them, even if it's a drawing, like my littlest one does drawings and she'll just put it in and I'll find it, but I'll always keep something from them in there because it's sort of just, whenever anything gets bad or I'm like <gasps> freaking out, I can look at that and go, oh, it's okay. If there's something really, um, the joy, the childlike joy of that is what I love. Obviously, I was a little nervous today. This is not something I do every day. But do you no. ever? No, that's fine. But do you ever get? Do you still get nervous? Does anything make you nervous anymore? I'm a little nervous about tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I get nervous. You do. Um, I get nervous um, on the first day of a shoot, absolutely, because um, you know, I, I mean, my my nature is quite introverted. So when I walk on the set for the first day, I'm like. Okay, I've just got to push through this. I've got to pretend that I'm cool and pretend that I know exactly what I'm doing. And half the time I don't. And I'm, and then I get my group on, and then I'm okay. But yeah, and I'll have a like a night where I wake up pretty much on the hour, every hour. That's my nerves. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. I do the same thing. Yeah. I do, but I would, could have never imagined that you would. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Tomorrow night's face. So we all want to know what do you carry in those little clutches? Um, well, we usually have some sort of chocolate, some kind of chocolate, because the shows are long. And, um, or we have the um, tiny little bars, you know, the gold bars, which we've been, I think we were photographed with them once, eating one in one of the breaks, or during the show. Um, and then I'll have the um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost, because I, I, as I said, I, always, I don't like to have anything to be dry mm -hmm. like hydration. So even if, if my lips feel moist and glossy, then I'm like, okay, it's cool. So I will have, I'm not sure what color, but I'll have one of those in my bag. Some great colors. Yeah. All right, this is the last question. Um, so if you have to throw together a quick dinner for your family. Yes. Just a weeknight easy dinner. What's not my name? forte, can we just say well, I made it very clear I'm not a great cook. You don't have to be. And my family would attest to it. What would you grab other than reservations? What would you throw together? <laughs> Take out, no. Um, <laughs> um, I'm pretty, no, the one thing I can do is a piece of grilled salmon. Ooh. And I can, of course,
course, boil some pasta, but I'm not sure if it's al dente. But um, no, but I can do pasta, and our go-to meal is obviously always pasta with parmesan olive oil, and my kids love balsamic vinegar. So um, I can do that, but I can grill a piece of salmon. But anything else, I can't roast a chicken. And who needs to roast a chicken? Well, I'd like to be able to, <laughs> um, and I can't do anything fancy. But I'm really good at going and going, wow, what beautiful food. Thank you. Well, that works too. Yeah. Well, I'll wrap this up. I know you're busy. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to sit down here with me. It was truly an honor, a pleasure for me. And I want to wish you, not break a leg, I guess, but good luck tomorrow night. No, you can say that. Break a leg, good luck, yeah. everything. I'll be rooting for you back in Texas. I'll be watching. That's so nice. Texas. Mm -hmm. yeah. My love to Texas. I was just in your state. Were you in Tennessee? I was in Memphis. Were you? Mm -hmm. I'm in there a lot. We love that. At home. My son goes to Ole Miss. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, how nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the South. Yeah, the South. We love it. We love it. Thank you again so much. I hope you found that interesting. And now I have a few tips that I have picked up to unwrinkle my life. So the first thing, and it's taken me a long time to be able to do this, and sometimes I'm still a little bit uncomfortable, but I would say the number one tip that I have to unwrinkle your life is to learn how to say no. You don't have to be rude about it, but you don't have to say yes to everything and spread yourself thin and stress yourself out and, and cause yourself more stress than you need. You can politely say no, and along with saying no, is saying no without providing an excuse. So when someone says, oh, can you do so-and-so, instead of saying, no, I'm sorry, I can't because I have this and this and this and this and this, all you need to do is be like, thank you for asking, but no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. The second thing, it's not as deep and insightful, is keep lists and keep a calendar. I personally have to write everything down. I cannot depend on digital for everything, although I do have backups of my calendar on, on the computer and so and my phone but for me again with the simplifying of my life the unwrinkling of the mess that my life can become I've got to keep a calendar so I know what I'm doing and I've got to keep lists of things that I need to do or projects or what have you because if I don't have that I just poof it goes out of my head and then the last thing it sounds so easy but it does help when I do get overwhelmed is don't sweat the small stuff keep things in perspective. So when you're feeling stressed out or anxious and completely overwhelmed, try really hard to take a step back and look at this from, you know, a very pragmatic perspective. Like, is this earth shattering? Is this world changing? Or are we getting ourselves crazy over something that in the scheme of things is not going to make a difference in the world? Nine and a half times out of 10, it's probably gonna be the latter, it's not a big deal. So again, I wanna thank Neutrogena for giving me this amazing opportunity, this unforgettable experience that I would have never dreamed up on my own. Um, and I do want you to start thinking about some of your own tips that you wanna share about unwrinkling your life. Um, if you Please follow me on social media because coming up soon, I'm doing a giveaway with Neutrogena in which you can share your tips and win at your very own Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. So keep those tips handy because that's coming up soon. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.